The Quraysh Arabic, Krish were a mercantile Arab tribe that historically inhabited and controlled Mecca and its Kaaba. The Islamic prophet Muhammad was born into the Banu Hashim clan of the Quraysh tribe. The Quraysh staunchly opposed Muhammad until converting to Islam en masse in 630 CE. Afterward, leadership of the Muslim community traditionally passed to a member of the Quraysh as was the case with the Rashidun, Umayyad, and Abbasid caliphs. Name Sources differ as to the etymology of Quraysh, with one theory holding that it was the diminutive form of Kirsh shark. The 9th-century genealogist Hisham ibn al-Kalbi asserted that there was no eponymous founder of Quraysh, rather, the name stemmed from Takarish, an Arabic word meaning, a coming together, or association. The nisbah or surname of the Quraysh is Qurashi, though in the early centuries of Islam, most Qurayshi tribesmen were denoted by their specific clan instead of the tribe. Later, particularly after the 13th century, claimants of Qurayshi descent used the Qurashi surname. History Origins <inaudible> 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 The Quraysh's progenitor was Fihr ibn Malik, whose full genealogy, according to traditional Arab sources, was the following, Fihr ibn Malik ibn al nada ibn Kanana ibn Kuzayma ibn Mudrika ibn Ilyas ibn Mudur ibn Nazar ibn Ma'ad ibn Adnan. Thus, Fihr belonged to the Kanana tribe and his descent is traced to Adnan, the semi-legendary father of the "...northern Arabs." According to the traditional sources, Fihr led the warriors of Kanana and Kuzayma in defense of the Kaaba, at the time a major pagan sanctuary in Mecca, against tribes from Yemen. However, the sanctuary and the privileges associated with it continued to be in the hands of the Yemeni Kuzas tribe. The Quraysh gained their name when Qusayy ibn Kilab, a sixth generation descendant of Fihr ibn Malik, gathered together his kinsmen and took control of the Kaaba. Prior to this, Fir's offspring lived in scattered, nomadic groups among their Kanana relatives. <inaudible> <inaudible> establishment in Mecca All medieval Muslim sources agree that Qusayy unified Fir's descendants, and established the Quraysh as the dominant power in Mecca. After conquering Mecca, Qusayy assigned quarters to different Qurayshi clans. Those settled around the Kaaba were known Quraysh al baida and included all of the descendants of Qab ibn Luai and others. The clans settled in the outskirts of the sanctuary were known as Quraysh al-Zawahir. According to historian Ibn Ishaq, Qusayi's younger son, Abd Manif, had grown prominent during his father's lifetime and was chosen by Qusayy to be his successor as the guardian of the Kaaba. He also gave other responsibilities related to the Kaaba to his other sons Abd al Uzza and Abd, while ensuring that all decisions by the Quraysh had to be made in the presence of his eldest son Abd al Dar. The latter was also designated ceremonial privileges such as keeper of the Qurayshi war banner and supervisor of water and provisions to the pilgrims visiting the Kaaba. According to historian F. E. Peters, Ibn Ishaq's account reveals that Mecca in the time of Qusayy and his immediate offspring was not yet a commercial center. Rather, the city's economy was based on pilgrimage to the Kaaba, and what pass ed for municipal offices designated by Qusayy have to do only with military operations and with control of the shrine. During that time, the tribesmen of Quraysh were not traders, instead, they were entrusted with religious services, from which they significantly profited. They also profited from taxes collected from incoming pilgrims. Though Qusayy appeared to be the strongman of Quraysh, he was not officially a king of the tribe, but one of many leading sheikhs, tribal chieftains. According to historian Gerald R. Hodding, if the traditional sources are to be believed, Qusayy's children must have lived in the second half of the 5th century. However, historian W. Montgomery Watt asserts that Qusayy himself likely died in the second half of the 6th century. The issue of succession between Qusayi's natural successor, Abd al-Dar, and his chosen successor, Abd Manif, led to the division of Quraysh into two factions, those who backed the Abd al-Dar clan, including the clans of Banu Sam, Banu Adi, Banu Maqsam and Banu Juma, became known as al-Alaf the Confederates, while those who backed the Abd Manif clan, including the Banu Taim, Banu Asad, Banu Zura and Banu al-Harith ibn Fihr, were known as al-Mutayyabin the perfumed. 
Topic: Control of Meccan trade. Toward the end of the 6th century, the Fihr War broke out between the Quraysh and the Kanana on one side and various KC tribes on the other, including the Hawazan, Banu Thaqif, Banu Amir and Banu Sulaym. The war broke out when a Kinani tribesman killed an Amiri tribesman escorting a Lakhmid caravan to the Hejaz. The attack took place during the holy season when fighting was typically forbidden. The Kinani tribesman's patron was Harb ibn Umayya, a Qurayshi chief. This patron and other chiefs were ambushed by the Hawazan at Nakla, but were able to escape. In the battles that occurred in the following two years, the Qis were victorious, but in the fourth year, the tide turned in favor of the Quraysh and Kanana. After a few more clashes, peace was re-established. According to Watt, the actual aim in the Fihar War was control of the trade routes of Najd. Despite particularly tough resistance by the Quraysh's main trade rivals, the Thaqif of Taif, and the Banu Nasser clan of Hawazan, the Quraysh ultimately held sway over Western Arabian trade. The Quraysh gained control over Taif's trade, and many Qurayshi individuals purchased estates in Taif, where the climate was cooler. The sanctuary village of Mecca had become a major Arabian trade hub. According to Watt, by 600 CE, the leaders of Quraysh were prosperous merchants who had obtained something like a monopoly of the trade between the Indian Ocean and East Africa on the one hand and the Mediterranean on the other. Furthermore, the Quraysh commissioned trade caravans to Yemen in the winter and caravans to Gaza, Basra, Damascus and Al-Arish in the summer. The Quraysh established networks with merchants in these Syrian cities. They also formed political or economic alliances with many of the Bedouin nomadic Arab tribes in the northern and central Arabian deserts to ensure the safety of their trade caravans. The Quraysh invested their revenues in building their trading ventures, and shared profits with tribal allies to translate financial fortune into significant political power in the Hejaz, i.e. Western Arabia. In the words of Fred Donner, by the end of the 6th century, Meccan commerce was flourishing as never before, and the leaders in this trade the Quraysh, had developed from mere merchants into true financiers. They were no longer interested in buying cheap and selling dear, but also with organizing money and men to realize their commercial objectives. There was emerging, in short, a class of men with well-developed managerial and organizational skills. It was a development unheralded, and almost unique, in Central Arabia. The Banu Maqsim and Banu Umayya, in particular, acquired vast wealth from trade and held the most influence among the Quraysh in Meccan politics. The Banu Umayya and the Banu Nafal, another clan descending from Abd Manif that had become wealthy from their commercial enterprise, split from the Mutayyabin faction in 605 and engaged in business with the Alaf. Their financial fortunes had enabled them to become a force of their own. The Mutayyabin was consequently replaced by the Al Fudl alliance, which consisted of the Banu Hashim and Banu Mutalib, descendants of Abd Manif, and the Taim, Asad, Zura, and Al Harith ibn Fihr clans. The Banu Hashim held the hereditary rights surrounding the pilgrimage to the Kaaba, though the Banu Umayyah were ultimately the strongest Qurayshi clan. According to Watt, in all the stories of the pre-Islamic period there is admittedly a legendary element, but the main outline of events appears to be roughly correct, even if most of the dating is uncertain. <laughs> Conflict with Muhammad The polytheistic Quraysh opposed the monotheistic message preached by the Islamic prophet Muhammad, himself a Qurayshi from the Banu Hashim. The tribe harassed members of the nascent Muslim community, and attempted to harm Muhammad, but he was protected by his uncle Abu Talib. To escape persecution, Muhammad and his companions, including the Qurayshi Abu Bakr, immigrated to Medina. Muhammad then confronted a Qurayshi caravan returning from Palestine and defeated the Quraysh at the ensuing Battle of Badr in 624. The Quraysh later besieged the Muslims at Medina in 627, but were defeated in the Battle of the Trench. The Treaty of Hudaybiyah was then signed between Muhammad and the Quraysh in 628, but was violated because of a dispute between Bedouin tribes from each camp. In January 630, Muhammad moved to finally settle the conflict with Quraysh and returned with his followers to capture Mecca. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Islamic leadership. Muhammad entered Mecca victoriously in 630, prompting the rest of Quraysh to embrace Islam. 
Muhammad sought to consolidate the unity of his expanding Muslim community by winning over this powerful group, the Quraysh. According to Donner, to that end, he used several means, including assurances of Qurayshi participation and influence in the nascent Islamic State. Thus, despite their long enmity with Muhammad, the Quraysh were brought in as political and economic partners and became a key component in the Muslim elite. Indeed, many leading Qurayshi tribesmen were installed in key government positions and in Muhammad's policy making circle. According to Donner, the inclusion of Quraysh in the ruling elite of the Islamic State was very probably responsible for what appears to be the more carefully organized and systematic approach to statesmanship practiced by Muhammad in the closing years of his life, as the organizational skills of the Quraysh were put to use in the service of Islam. With Muhammad's death in 632, rivalry emerged between the Quraysh and the two other components of the Muslim elite, the Ansar and the Thaqif, over influence in state matters. The Ansar wanted one of their own to succeed the Prophet as Caliph, but were persuaded by Umar to agree to Abu Bakr. During the reigns of Abu Bakr (632–634) and Umar (r. 634–644), some of the Ansar were concerned about their political stake. The Quraysh apparently held real power during this period, marked by the early Muslim conquests. During the First Muslim Civil War, the Ansar, who backed Caliph Ali of the Banu Hashim against two factions representing rival Qurayshi clans, were defeated. They were subsequently left out of the political elite, while the Thaqif held a measure of influence by dint of their long relationship with the Quraysh. A hadith holding that the Caliph must be from Quraysh became almost universally accepted by the Muslims, with the exception of the Qarijites. Indeed, control of the Islamic State essentially devolved into a struggle between various factions of the Quraysh. In the first civil war, these factions included the Banu Umayyah represented by Muwiya ibn Abi Sufyan, the Banu Hashim represented by Ali, and other Quraishi leaders such as al-Zubair ibn al-Awwam and Talha ibn Ubaid Allah. Later, during the Second Muslim Civil War, these same factions again fought for control of the Caliphate, with the Umayyads victorious at the war's conclusion in 692 93. In 750, the issue of which Qurayshi clan would hold the reins of power was again raised, but this time, the Abbasids, a branch of the Banu Hashim, were victorious and slew much of the Banu Umayyah. Afterward, Islamic leadership was contested between certain branches of the Banu Hashim. Clans Topic. Chief of Quraysh Topic. Banu al-Harith Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah Banu Amir Sahail ibn Amr Abu Jandal ibn Sahail Abdullah ibn Sahail, Salah bint Sahail, Qaytala bint Abd al Uzza. Topic: Banu Adi, Umar al Khattab, Fatima bint al Khattab, Khattab ibn Nufail, Al Shifa bint Abdullah, Zaid ibn al Khattab, Hafsa bint Umar, Abdullah ibn Umar. Zayd ibn Umar, Said bin Zayd, Asim ibn Umar. Topic: Banu Taim, Abdullah, Abu Bakr, ibn Abi Quafa, Talha ibn Ubaidullah, Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr, Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr, Aisha bin Abi Bakr. Asma bin Abi Bakr, Muhammad ibn Abu Bakr, Um Kultum bin Abu Bakr, Aisha bin Tala, Yusuf ibn Tala, Um Tharwa bin Al Qasim. Topic: Banu Sam, Kune ibn Hudhayfa, Amr ibn Al as, Hisham ibn Al Aaz. Abd Allah ibn Amr ibn Al as Abdullah ibn Hudhayfa Al as ibn Wa'il Topic Banu Juma 
Umayyah ibn Khalif Safwan ibn Umayyah Wahb ibn Umair Umair ibn Wahb Banu Makhzum Abu Hudayfa ibn al-Mughira Abu Umayyah ibn al-Mughira Hisham ibn al-Mughira Walid ibn al-Mughira Abu Jal ibn Hisham Khalid ibn Walid Najiya bint al-Walid ibn al-Mughira Amara ibn Walid Walid ibn al-Walid Um Hakim ibn al-Harith Ikrimah ibn Abu Jal Abu Salama Abd Allah ibn Abd al-Asad al-Makhzumi Um Salama bint Abi Umayya Karaiba bint Abi Umayya Fatima bint Amr Mughira ibn Abd Allah Banu Zura Sa'd d ibn Abi Waqqas Amina bint Wahb Wahb ibn Abd Manif Abd al Rahman ibn Awf Hashim ibn Utba Hela bint Wuhayb Al Aknaz ibn Sharaik Harla bint Abd al Uzza Sibaz ibn Abd al Uzza equals equals topic banu abid al dar equals equals bara bint abdul uza mus backquote ab ibn backquote umair nadr ibn al harith quaitala bint al nadr nafi ibn al harith al harith ibn kalada Uthman ibn Talha Topic Banu Abd Shams Abu al Aas ibn al Rabi Walid ibn Utba Hind bin Utba Abu Hudhaifa ibn Utba Shaiba ibn Rabia Utba ibn Rabia Muhammad ibn Abi Hudhaifa Uthman ibn Affan Ramla bint Abi Sufyan Abu Sufyan ibn Harb Muawiyah ibn Abu Sufyan Yazid ibn Muawiyah Khalid ibn Yazid Yazid ibn Abi Sufyan Muawiyah ibn Yazid Al-Hakam ibn Abi al as Abu al as ibn Umayyah Harb ibn Umayyah More look at Banu Umayyah Banu Nafal Mud backquote I'm ibn Adi Jubair ibn Mutam Topic Banu Asad Kuwailid ibn Asad Awwam ibn Kuwailid Hela bin Kuwailid Khadija bin Kuwailid Nafal ibn Kuwailid Hakim ibn Hizm, Zubair ibn al Awwam, Waraka ibn Nafal <laughs> Banu Mutalib Ubaid ibn al Haritha <laughs> Banu Hashim Shaiba ibn Hashim, Al Harith ibn Abdul Mutalib Al Zubair ibn Abdul Muttalib, Abd Allah ibn Abd al Muttalib, Bara bint Abdul Muttalib, Arwa bint Abdul Muttalib, Abu Talib ibn Abd al Muttalib, Abu Lab ibn Abdul Muttalib, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, Abbas ibn Abd al Muttalib, Um Hakim bint Abdul Muttalib, Safiya bint Abd al Muttalib Atika bint Abdul Muttalib Umama bint Abdul Muttalib Rabia ibn al-Harith Abu Sufyan ibn al-Harith Arwa bint al-Harith Ubaida ibn al-Harith Utba ibn Abu Lab Utaiba ibn Abu Lab Talib ibn Abi Talib Akal ibn Abi Talib Abu Muslim Jafar ibn Abi Talib Abu An 
Ali ibn Abi Talib Abu Hassan Fakida bin Abi Talib Um Hani Jumana bin Abi Talib Um Sufyan Rada bin Abi Talib Um Talib Muslim ibn Aqil Jafar ibn Aqil Muhammad ibn Aqil Abd al-Rahman ibn Aqil Abdullah ibn Jafar Muhammad ibn Jafar An ibn Jafar Hassan ibn Ali Musan ibn Ali And more again, look at Shaiba ibn Hashim Topic. Leaders The leaders of the Quraysh Arabic, Sadat Quraysh, who formed Mecca's aristocracy upon the appearance of Muhammad, included Topic. See also Quraysh is also the name of the 106th surah of the Quran. Alawite dynasty Awan Ba Alawaya Haq of Quraysh List of expeditions of Muhammad against the Quraysh Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Bibliography <inaudible> <inaudible>